Hello, it's Matt from Guitar Nerds. It's Friday, we are back with Pedal of the Week. And this week we have the awesome Boss CP1X compressor. Um, so the X series of Boss pedals uses something called MDP, and we've seen it in a few of the other pedals, uh, the Terra Echo, uh, the OD1X, and um, the more recent BB1X bass driver. And this is like a multiband compressor, but the technology inside it does something a little bit different. So it's a digital compressor rather than a, like an optical or an analog compressor, a bit more like a, a studio um, grade sort of rack mount. And what it does with MDP is analyze the input signal um, that's going in from your guitar, and it applies different amounts of compression or different amount of effect to different frequencies. So what that means is it's tuned to more of a guitar frequency range, but it then becomes dynamic for extended range, seven and eight strings, where it will cut through a lot more. So where you're using lower notes and a compressor, it can start to sound muddy. This uh, retains the fundamental core tone. Through that, because it doesn't actually compress the direct tone going through, it compresses more of the harmonic overtone. So you get a richer, more natural sound but you're still getting the punch of your original guitar sound through there as well. It also means that the controls interact with one another and it constantly tunes to find the sweet spot depending on where you set it. So you've got gain reduction control on here, level controls the overall output, attack controls the initial attack of the compressor, and then ratio controls the input to output ratio. So for every two decibels in, it's one decibel out, so you don't overload the output or the input, and then compression, which is the overall amount of effect that you're giving it. So we've got the telly, and we've got the CP1X into our two notes recording setup, and we're just gonna give you a few examples of what this pedal can do. So for the first sound, I've dialed the level with pretty much unity gain, but you'll hear a little bit of a boost just from the amount of compression and what the pedal's doing inside. We've turned the compression up to about three quarters of the way, so it's quite a, a thick squash but we've left the uh, attack and ratio at 12 o'clock. So here's the clean sound. And then with the compressor. So for the second sound, what I've done here is I've kept the level at basically unity gain. We've kept the compression the same, but I've turned the attack and the ratio up. So once again, we're getting a little bit of a boost, but we're also getting tons of sustain. So I'm going to give you a couple of held notes just so you can hear the, uh, hear the difference. Here's the clean sound. And then with the compressor. So for the last sound, what I've done is I've dialed back the compression um, and dialed back the attack slightly. So what we've got now is just a little bit of extra warmth and sustain works really well for sort of arpeggio. So here's the clean sound. And then with the compressor.
So there we have it. That is the Boss CP1X compressor. So it's, yeah, kind of a bit different to some of the other compressors out there. The technology inside, as I said, just adapts to the way that you're playing and what sort of guitar you're using. Works really well for electroacoustics as well. And yeah, we've kind of not really found necessarily a bad setting for it. As I said, the controls change as you move them, so it's always tuning to that sweet spot. And very different if you want, um, obviously if you want more squash, you want more of that classic sort of Dynacomp style compression, this isn't the unit. This is there for maybe if you're using a lot of gain or you want something that maintains that said fundamental sound through like a much more modern studio compressor then this is definitely one worth checking out now if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to guitar nerds for more coming soon and if there's anything you think we should review let us know in the comments below